Hello, I'm Christy and welcome to my channel. Today I have a Dollar Tree Fall DIY. I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of my YouTube family. I have other Dollar Tree DIYs that I'll have linked below for you to check out. I had been looking for a large fall piece to hang on my wall for several weeks now and it was becoming quite a task. I happened to run across the 11 by 14 photo frames at Dollar Tree and decided to make my own. For this DIY, you will need to purchase four of the Special Moments 11 by 14 photo frames and they have these in a variety of colors. I chose the black. The first thing you'll want to do is remove the glass from the frames. To spray paint the frames, I'm using Valspar Chalky Finish Paint, and this one is in an ultra matte. I took these outside where it was well ventilated and spray painted the front and sides of all four frames. After allowing about an hour's dry time on these, I applied a second coat of the chalky finish paint. And then I let these remain outside for an hour so they were completely dry. Once that step was complete, I used E6000 to glue the sides together. I decided to only do two frames at a time. I glued these two together first and then I clamped them with several clamps that I picked up at the Dollar Tree and I allowed that 24 hours to dry. Once that step was complete, I just repeated it with the next two frames. Once those two sets of frames were dry, I went ahead and glued all four pieces together and clamped those and let those sit overnight. I'm really not sure how necessary the 24 hour dry time is. These are awfully thin, but it does specify on the back of the E6000 tube to allow 24 hours drying time. So since I knew this piece was going to be hanging on the wall, I let it dry for 24 hours. If you have enough space and enough clamps, all this can be done at once. I just didn't have enough space, so I blocked this up into several different days. This is not a very sturdy piece, so when you handle it, you want to do so with care. Once all the pieces are dried, I wanted to go ahead and distress the piece with sandpaper. Again, sandpaper is available at the Dollar Tree. We were lucky enough to have some in our garage, so we just used what we had. Distress it as much or as little as you like. I decided to go heavy handed with the distressed look and I used this on several different angles on the insides and the outsides of the piece. I really struggled with this step, but decided against it in the end, but I did want to mention it. We did have some Valspar frosting spray paint. If you'd like to go ahead and spray paint the glass that was inside of your picture frames and then reattach those, it would give the DIY just a little something extra. Dollar Tree has several different wreath forms to choose from. They have the wire, the willow, and the grape vine. For this project, I decided to go with a grape vine wreath. Luckily, I already had one and did not have to pick one up at Dollar Tree. You will also need to pick up a set of the metal words. 
This is currently a new item that's at Dollar Tree. There are three words, harvest, welcome, and thankful. Then you'll need to go through the floral section and pick out the greenery that you want for your wreath. These are the ones that I chose for mine. It's the fall colors that I plan on going with this year. And as I use them, I will show you the names of each individual one. The first flowers I picked up were the sunflowers with the pine cone in the center and they are off white. There are five flowers attached. I only used four. And when I took those off of the stems, I also took the greenery, super glued the greenery to the flower before I glued the flower onto the wreath. Adding the greenery just makes the wreath look fuller in the end. The next flowers that I used were just the globe flowers. These are also in an off-white cream color and there are several on those as well. And I also used the greenery that was on that. I like to lay all of the flowers out onto my wreath before I decide to glue them down just in case I go ahead and change my mind on placement. So right now I'm just moving things around and putting them where I want them. Another set of the flowers that I picked up was the hydrangeas and these are in the green. I wanted to bring out some of the green colors in my fall decor. Again, pick whichever colors suit your decor best. I'm only using one of the stems of cotton and again, I just pulled the ends off of that so that I wasn't using the whole stem, just the pieces of cotton. I picked up one of the mini mums arrangements and these are also a cream colored or off white. Again, I like to just stand over the top of the wreath and slowly place things where I see empty spots. This isn't something that I can really walk you through. A wreath is just something that is a personal preference. I will be using a set of the three piece pumpkin clips. I will be leaving the clips on these and I will not be gluing them down. I will just be clipping them in place. And once I'm finished with that, I just pick the word that I want to use. I chose welcome and all I did was put a little bit of super glue on the back of that, laid it down on the wreath and just gave it time to dry. I went ahead and hung my framing on the wall. I just used the two nails that was already there from a previous picture. Again, this is four flimsy frames that are attached together. With that being said, I decided to use two command hooks on my wall to attach the wreath to so that it is not attached to the four frames. And this is what the end product looks like. I am very pleased. I've been looking for something this size for several weeks now and couldn't come up with anything I was happy with. So when I saw the frames at Dollar Tree, I knew once I attached them, they would be 22 by 28, which would be the perfect size to put above my couch and on my wall. If you would rather turn this the other way, you can so that it is slimmer and not as wide. I needed the width instead of the height, so I turned it this way. Again, you can use whatever colors you are going with this fall. I just love the size of these huge frames. Thank you so much for watching my Dollar Tree fall DIY. All this was put together with things I already had in the house. Everything that I purchased from Dollar Tree was under $15. Before you leave, I would love it if you went ahead and subscribed. If you like Dollar Tree DIYs, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment below because I love to talk to you guys and check the description box and follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.